Today is Thursday, December 10th, 2015, and the title of today's rant is, uh, We Still Need a Budget to Pass. Now, I know everyone wants to talk about Trump, and I'm tired of that crap. <laughs> he's a huckster, he's a jiver, he's a scammer, uh, and a budget needs to be passed by tomorrow. Probably going to be a continuing resolution, or what they call a stopgap. Uh, they're going to extend it for a week, two weeks, three weeks, whatever it is. Uh, everyone gets the same amount of money in the government, and in the meantime, it gives uh, the Republicans additional ways that they can try and figure out how to screw the American people. And make no mistake, that's exactly what they want to do. Now, um, they, are, they are going to have a vote tomorrow, and of course, what they're trying to do right now is they're trying to put a whole heck of a lot of riders in it. And a lot of them give tax breaks. Uh, they give tax breaks. They want to um, allow us to export oil. Uh, they want to roll back clean air and clean water uh, regulations. Uh, they want to decrease the power of, uh, of, of Dodd-Frank, uh, Dodd uh, which, which uh, monitors and keeps track of financial institutions. Uh, they probably also want to hurt the uh, Consumer Finance Protection Bureau, which was started by Elizabeth Warren. You know, uh, they want to give out more individual, ta in, uh, individual tax breaks to corporations and individuals. And, uh, of course, they want to put a rider in there basically indicating, if you're Syrian, ain't no way you're going to ever step on this soil, ever. <laughs> so uh, this is what they want to do. Uh, probably a lot of them won't get through. They'll pe pe pass a stopgap. But let's just think in the meantime. Right now, we haven't heard much from the very conservative people in the last week or so. Uh, the Freedom Caucus, uh, the Republican Study Group, and what's the other one? Uh, Tuesday morning or something like that. And that is, that's a, that's a, show, that's a store, to the Tuesday group. And, uh, you know, maybe they're looking to do a, a, a little uh, sneak attack here. Uh, maybe they are going to hold firm and won't let Ryan even pass the continuing resolution. Uh, or he'll need to have Democrats to pass the continuing resolution, uh, which will screw things up. But uh, the point is, uh, even if we get the continuing resolution, come a week from today, come whatever it is, uh, into January, those same things will be coming up again and again and again, meaning tax breaks for the rich, tax breaks for oil companies, regulation uh, rolling back on clean air and clean water, um, riders for tax breaks uh, for oil companies, uh, continuing not to let the Syrian refugees in, <laughs> all of this type of stuff. And remember, at the same time, at the end of this year, and of course, if they get the continuing resolution in tomorrow, that means that they want to get get out till the end, till a week after Christmas. So, what's to, tomorrow's the 11th? They'll probably want to go until the sixth or seventh, the full three weeks, if not four, uh, away from the Congress. Uh, but they also need to pass some tax extenders uh, by uh, the end of this year. Now, many of those tax exp extenders they all want to have. They don't want to pay for them, but they want to have. Uh, so uh, there are some uh, in, uh, uh, tax credits for uh, individuals and families. I can't think of the one right offhand, but that's got to pass too. So uh, even though everyone wants to pay attention to Trump, we need to get the continuing resolution passed if that's the way it's going to go. And remember, there may be sabotage going on with our Republican friends trying to screw, screw the average person, giving tax breaks to big companies, giving tax breaks to wealthy individuals, rolling back clean water, clean air, rolling back uh, the power of Dodd-Frank, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, etc. So what we see is Republicans are still doing what they always want to do, is help the rich and screw everyone else.